music teacher. Okay, let's get started today. You ready? I hope you said hello to me. If you didn't, we're gonna do it again. Okie dokie, today we are learning about the Cherokee. Now the Cherokee is a Native American tribe from North America because you guys are studying North America. So let's get started learning about the Cherokee. Okie dokie, so we are gonna learn a Cherokee welcome song today. Now, first off, let's figure out where do the Cherokee live? Well, originally the Cherokee lived in every single piece of land that this red line is covering. So if you see this red line that my cursor is on right now, everything in the, in the red line is where the Cherokee tribes lived. So part of Kentucky, part of West Virginia, part of Virginia, Part, the mountains of North Carolina, Tennessee, a little bit of Alabama, some of Georgia, and even some of South Carolina. So right smack dab in the middle of all of those states. So that is where they lived. Now, we're, because this is music class, we're gonna talk about the different instruments that the Cherokee played. Now, some of these are ancient instruments that they still play. And then some of them are newer instruments that they have brought into their music that they used to not play anymore. So the first one is over here. This is a flute. Now their flutes were originally made from um, reeds that they found by the river. So they took whatever they could from the land they could use from the land to make their instruments. So this is originally made from a reed or a piece of bamboo by the river. Now today, I brought some of my instruments with me. The closest thing I have to this flute is my recorder here. So they're played the same way and they sound similar, but this plastic, that was made from a reed. Now the next one is over here. This is a buffalo drum. So when we were talking about um, way before we had all this fabulous technology, people would use what they could from the land, just like the flute was made from a reed from the river. Buffalo drums were actually made from the skin of buffalo because some of native, some tribes of the native, um, some Native American tribes, sorry, I'm getting tongue tied, would hunt the buffalo. They would eat the meat, then they would take the skin and stretch it over a frame and make a drum out of it. I have a buffalo drum and you know I have a bunch of these in my class. They're different sizes. Mine is not made from actual buffalo skin anymore. It's actually some really nice plastic. So this is what it sounds like. There you go. Buffalo drum. Different sizes make different sounds and that is what they, what instrument they would use. Now let's take a look down here. So just like we talked about, they use what they could from the land. This is a rattle that is made from a turtle shell. So they would eat the turtle. And then the handle that you hold it was made from like the hoof of a deer. So they would hunt the deer and they would eat the deer meat and they would use it to make instruments. So it sounds like a rattle. And then they had another type of rattle called a rawhide rattle, and this was also made from skin. I have one of those right here. Mine's not made from skin. Remember, it's made from plastic, but they would make the skin into a sort of like a bubble, and then they would put probably seeds or beads inside of it. And it was a rattle. Now, those are the ancient traditional instruments that the Cherokee and Native American tribes would use. Nowadays, they have taken some of the modern instruments that you know, some of our string instruments from the string family, the fiddle or what we would call a violin. Fiddle and violin are the same thing. They're just played different ways. The banjo, the mandolin, um, the steel guitar, 
an acoustic guitar and harmonica and the upright bass, which you know as a double bass. Remember we talked about you don't have to play it with a bow. You can just play it with the strings. So those instruments are now taken and they take those instruments and they put them with the traditional instruments and they play them together. So it sounds a little different. And we're gonna hear a song that has both traditional instruments in it and modern instruments in it today. So that's what they played. We know where they're from. We know about their instruments. Now let's talk about our welcome song. So this is a Cherokee welcome song. In the um, Native American tribes, they would take sounds or what we called vocals, vocal, yeah, vocals, and they would create a song out of it. So if you look at the words over here, they probably just, they look like gibberish. Way ya, hey, hey, ya. Yeah. yeah, they're just vocal sounds. That's all they are. So a lot of the songs would just be a series of vocal sounds, just like this one. So this is our Cherokee welcome song, and this is how it goes. It goes, let's listen to it. Now, this recording has traditional and modern sounds in it. So here we go. See if you can hear both. probably heard some of the traditional sounds and some of the more modern instruments. Like I heard a rattle. I also heard the flute, but then I also heard the guitar in there and a banjo. So they take both old and both new and they put it together nowadays, which is pretty cool. So we're going to take a minute and we're going to actually learn this Cherokee welcome song. And it's pretty easy and it's pretty simple. So this is how it goes. Way ya hey 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 ya way ya hey ya way ya hey 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 ya way ya hey. Now uh, I'm gonna sing it a little higher because I feel like I'm singing in my throat. So we're gonna sing it a little bit higher. Way ya hey 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 ya way ya hey ya way ya hey 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 ya way ya hey. So as always, repeat after me, please. I go first. Way ya hey 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 ya. Your turn. One more time. Do it with me this time. One. Two, here we go. Way ya, hey, hey, hey ya. Okay, repeat after me. Way ya, hey ya. Way ya, hey ya. Okay, let's do both of those parts together. Do it with me. One, two. Here we go, way ya hey 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 ya way ya hey ya. One more time, 
Way ya hey 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 ya way ya hey ya. Pretty good. Okay, now the next part is the same. Way ya hey 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 ya. Do it one more time. Do it with me this time. Way ya hey 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 ya. And then we're, the last part is way ya hey. Do it with me. Way ya hey. Pretty cool. Let's do the whole thing together. Here we go. One, two, here we go. Way ya hey, hey, hey ya, way ya hey ya. Way ya hey, hey, hey ya, way ya hey. Again, one, two. Here we go. Way ya hey 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 ya way ya hey ya. Way ya hey 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 ya way ya hey. Awesome sauce. Okay. Now, if you're like Miss Silva and I still can't get it, well, you know you can always go back and watch it. Okay. Or you can pause and practice yourself before we move on. Now. The last activity I have for us to do with this song today is I want us to add some drums to it. You're probably like, I don't have any drums at home. Well, we learned that anything can be an instrument, correct? We turned our desk into an instrument. We turned our chair into an instrument. We turned our school supplies into an instrument. So anything can be an instrument. This is what I want you to do. After my instructions, you're gonna pause and you are going to go find it. So I want you to go find something that you can play as a drum. Okay. You have, you got a little bit of time. So pause, go find something that you can play as a drum. Okay. I hope you're ready. You got your instrument. I'm going to be playing our traditional buffalo drum. Are you ready? We're just going to do our steady beat. So join my steady beat and then I'll count us into our song. So here we go. This is the beat. Here we go. One, two, here we go. We are gonna write your own chair um your own welcome song you're probably like how am I gonna do that well it's pretty simple if you looked at our song over here you notice there's not a lot of sounds there's not a lot of words there's actually only three there's way ya there's hey and there's ya now you are gonna write your own song and it doesn't have to be super long and the way you're going to do that is you're going to take those three sounds and you are going to mix them up however you want to. So you can, you don't have to start with way ya. You can start with hey. You can go hey, way ya, hey ya. Whatever you want. You can repeat sounds. I don't care. They repeated sounds in the Cherokee welcome song. They said hey like three times in a row. Whatever you want to do. So you're going to write your own song using those three sounds and it doesn't have to be super long. Now, when you get done writing your song, you are going to go to the Google form that is below this video and you are going to fill that out. You're going to put your name, you're going to click your teacher, and then you are going to write out your words, your song words for me so that I can see what you came up with. Okay. Well, kiddos, that is all I 
have for you today. I have enjoyed learning about the Cherokee people and the inhabitants of North America. I will see you guys later. Don't forget to do your Google form. Bye.